So now we will find for third order differential equation, the method remains the same. Uh, in third order differential equation, yp will be u into y1 plus v into y2 plus w into y3. So in second order differential equation, we only have these two terms. Now in third order, we will have these three terms. So u, v and w are also some functions of x and we have to calculate them. So after yp, we will calculate d and d is given by y1, y1 dash, y2 dash. Why we are writing three terms in the determinant because it is a third order differential equation. Similarly, here we have y2 into y2 dash into y2 double dash here, it should be y1. Then we have y3 into y3 dash into y3 double dash. So this will be our determinant. So after finding determinant, we have to calculate the value of u, v and w. The formula of all these three will remain exactly similar. U will be positive, V will be negative, W will be positive. Upon D, upon D, upon D. Into X DX, into X DX, into X DX. Only the numerator will change. So how to write this numerator? Now consider for U. For U, u is with y1 so we will ignore the column of y1 so we will ignore this column and to find the value of u v w we always ignore this second derivative so to find the parameters u v w we always ignore the second derivative remember and to find u we will ignore the column of y1 so we also ignore this y1 so we have y2 into y3 dash so y2 into y3 dash minus y2 dash into y3. So after that, we take the determinant of this term. Similarly, to find v, v is with y2. So we will ignore the column of y2. So we will ignore this y2 column and we get these four terms. And we take the determinant of these four terms. So y1 into y3 dash minus y3 into y1 dash then we have w w is with y3 so we will ignore the column of y3 and we get these four terms and we take the determinant of these four terms we get y1 into y2 dash minus y2 into y1 dash if you observe this equation carefully here we have two three here we have one three here we have one two that is y2 into y3 dash minus y3 into y2 dash like here we keep y2 as it is then here we take derivative of y2 here we have taken derivative of y3 here we keep y3 as it is similarly here we have y1 into y3 dash we keep the first term as it is y1 into y3 dash minus y3 dash into y1 minus y3 into y1 dash similarly for this term so by 2 3 1 3 and 1 2 you can remember this formula also and you can remember this formula by using this determinant so after finding u v w we just substitute this value in this equation then we will get the final value of yp this will be more clear when we see the problem on this type so the problem on this type we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures